welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Anna and as promised here is part two so as you guys can tell we have a lot of higher end more high quality crystals so as I mentioned in my first part actually if you did not go watch that go watch the first part of my personal crystal haul collection because I did mention that the high quality would be the part two of that haul. So as you guys can tell, I could not fit everything on the table from part one and from part two. So for part two, I kind of decided to just do the higher end crystals as well as, as you guys can tell, a lot of my citrine items. So as you guys can tell, I've added a ton of citrine to my collection. Basically everything you see in like a darker champagne to a lighter champagne color is all citrine. Because you guys, I was not kidding you when I told you that I kind of really bounce between amethyst and citrine a lot. And I think this is, as you can see, kind of the definition of that. I do actually have some clear quartz items, which I will show as well. But definitely, I will say I've been bouncing between citrine and amethyst a lot. So let's get right into it because you guys, these are some of my favorite crystals. And actually seeing them all together, oh my god, it brings me so much happiness. Like this looks so good together. A lot of these are actually displayed on one shelf in my living room and then a lot of like the flames and the bigger citrine towers I actually display on my table in the office so a lot of you guys if you do pop into a live sale for example this juicy rose quartz the flame these towers they're actually all lined up against my desk in the office so some of these actually will look familiar to you guys but again I haven't done a personal haul with them so I'm just kind of going to go through each item and show you so don't blame me I I know I kept a lot of citrine I'm sorry but you guys know I can't help myself so the first thing which I am so stoked about because I actually have a lot of these that I'm gonna preview at some point are these really gorgeous amethysts on stand and what I really love is that it's just a different way to display amethyst so as I mentioned I do bounce a lot between amethyst and citrines and when I saw these gorgeous amethysts on stands I was like how unique is this like this is just so fun to like display it it also looks like a bit more higher end so I did end up keeping one piece for myself if you guys don't know I actually have a lot of amethyst clusters in my collection so as I mentioned those ones on stands are just another fun way to display amethyst and I do have like a ton of just cup base amethyst all over the place in my living room in my office as well as my bedroom this specific one is a new addition to my office so if you guys kind of pay attention to some of my sellers haul videos and things like that this baby as well as the one on the stand stand back here on my desk so you will notice it a lot like in my sellers hauls or just if i do anything on this desk you will notice those pieces. And then let me show you guys some of the other few pieces that I do have on my desk. So this is another beautiful citrine piece. So you guys will tell from my collection that I have a lot of different variations of citrine. So I'm not someone that just gets the light ones or just gets the dark ones or just gets the smoky ones. I kind of like a little bit of everything. So you guys will also see from this personal haul that I keep kind of a lot of variations of citrine for myself. I know there are people who, for example, might prefer the lighter ones over the darker ones and things like that, but to be honest, I enjoy citrine of all form. And actually, the reason I did keep this one is because it has an interesting pocket of both iron and different mineral inclusions. And to be honest, I wasn't sure how that would do. I don't know if people would have been interested. So I did actually just end up keeping this piece for myself because it is really gorgeous, but I know sometimes people don't prefer things with inclusions or things like that. But look at how stunning the rest of it is. And again, as I mentioned, I don't mind things like that. And as you can notice too, it's not like a perfect tower shape. Like they did kind of cut it right here. Sometimes some of the towers from Brazil will be like that. So I actually just decided to keep this piece. And yeah, she sits on my table and I absolutely love her. She is so stunning. And then another piece a lot of you guys have mentioned. I did redo my table recently and a lot of you guys have seen this flame. And in my last live sale, someone actually asked about the smoky flame. So this is actually a citrine. It is not a smoky. It is a very gorgeous and light like champagne citrine flame this is actually a personal piece and i know i'm such a tease because i do have it like 
on my table when I do the live sales, but I just, I don't know, it just brings me so much happiness and joy, and that's kind of why, but I apologize, because I know so many people inquire about pieces that I have on my table, but I just kind of have them on my table to make it look nicer for you guys, so it's not too plain, but I know, I know, I'm sorry, I know it teases a lot of you guys, and then I also added this gorgeous smoky citrine to my table recently. So this beauty was in the new batch of citrine towers that I got. And I just, oh my god, you guys, I could not help myself. How stunning is this piece? I just, I had to keep it. I just thought it was so gorgeous. And I actually had this piece as well as the lighter citrine, the big tower, together at one point. But I did space them out in between the Buddha hand carvings that I have here. And I just really love the way they look. And again, I know some folks look at smoky citrine and they're like, oh, it looks like smoky quartz. And I just didn't know if people would be interested. So this was another one of those things where I was like, you know what? I'm not sure if it will sell. So I just ended up keeping it for myself. And that's not to be like, you know, mean or anything. Like I totally understand there probably could have been takers for it. But again, I know a lot of you guys prefer more of like the lighter champagne -y citrine versus like the super dark ones so that's why I end up like keeping some because I always think like you know will I have to mark it down will there be a need because I know a lot of you guys prefer like the lighter more champagne colors so I just figured that there might not be too many takers so that's why I ended up just keeping certain pieces for myself and then another piece that I display on my desk as well is this gorgeous rose quartz sphere it actually does have a star in it i think if you can faintly <laughs> see it all right so i did get a light i don't know how well this is showing up for you guys but do you see the star in it it's super faint because the light is obviously really bright from my ring light but you can see the star you can see the different points of it and just because it's this really nice juicy pink color i ended up keeping this piece so it does have a star in it and because it is just such a gorgeous deep pink color i ended up keeping that one for myself as well so some of the next few towers that i did end up adding to my personal collection are just kind of scattered about between both my bedroom as well as my living room i have this really gorgeous um, wood and metal shelf that I put a lot of my crystals on in the living room. So a lot of these gorgeous citrine towers are on there. And you guys, look at how stunning these are. So these next couple of towers, that's where they sit in my collection. A lot of them are from both my bedroom as well as the shelf that I have out in my living room. And how gorgeous are these, you guys? <laughs> But don't worry, you guys know that a lot of the citrine pieces that I have had in my shop are really, really nice. Because again, I do get all of my citrine from Brazil. But I did keep some for myself, I'm not going to lie. I have like become such a hoarder of citrine. But I promise you guys, I usually keep like one or two per order. Minus the diamonds, I told you guys I have an obsession with the diamonds. But besides that, a lot of these towers like I have gotten with every order that I've ordered citrine towers in. So it's not like I got one citrine order in and I kept like five or six towers. A lot of these are different orders of citrine and I've just kind of accumulated them over the last couple years. And here is another baby and she does have a bit of like a chip on this side. So again, things that are just kind of chipped or just kind of a funky shape, like for example, as you can see here, the bottom is not like a full tower shape. I tend to just kind of keep them for myself because again, I know I usually have to price them down because people want just like perfection when it comes to citrine and I totally understand. But I really love like these odd pieces. I don't know, they just kind of speak to me and I really love them. And then to go along with the big flame, I do have some smaller citrine flames that I have kept for myself. So actually, don't worry because I have a lot of these gorgeous smoky citrine flames that will be in a seller's haul soon. So stay tuned because we have some amazing new items for you guys um but yeah so i did end up keeping some of these gorgeous citrine flames as well so i did end up keeping two of those one of these is a really gorgeous dark citrine so another smoky citrine and i actually got this one from crystals 
crystals for bg on instagram again i will link everyone that i do mention at the top so i ended up getting this gorgeous smoky citrine flame and that kind of started my obsession this was my first ever citrine flame so i got this one then i got the big one and the two smaller ones the ones that i just showed and this one I recently got in for you guys. So as I mentioned, I did get some citrine flames in. So I did end up keeping two of these gorgeous citrine flames because they're just so beautiful. Oh, you guys. So, so gorgeous. And let me know what you guys prefer. Do you prefer kind of like this swirl shape or do you prefer like that flatter shape? So these are kind of more rounded. And the big citrine and the one that I got from Crystals of BG, they're more on the flat side, whereas this is more of like a swirl. So let me know which you would prefer. So again, I do have the swirls that will be available for you guys, but I did end up keeping two of these for myself because I'm so sorry. I could not resist. I had to. And then also this really gorgeous rose quartz flame. I actually had these a while ago and I did... Keep one beauty for myself just because, again, I really love the shape of these flames. And then the last large tower that I have is, again, another gorgeous kind of lighter champagne citrine. But again, of course, I did keep this piece because, as you guys can tell, the way it's shaped, they kind of cut it oddly. So it's not like that full tower shape. So again, I just thought I would have to discount it for that. And these are just such gorgeous quality that it just didn't make sense to me. So I kept this big beauty as well. So I know this is bigger than my flame, but this is actually the biggest tower that I have in my collection. As of now, that definitely might change. So as I mentioned, I will get better with doing like my personal hauls more often for you guys. But as of now, this is my biggest tower and she is like super heavy. She's not a light piece. She's chunky. She's tall. I absolutely love this thing. And again, I will do an updated display tour for you guys so you can see kind of how I display it all. So the next couple items that I ended up adding are actually something that is coming to the shop very soon. It is these gorgeous asteroids. So I actually got my first asteroid piece from Sugar Studio Crystals over on Instagram. And she is the only person I ever saw selling these. And then my supplier had some of these asteroids. I did ask them because I think I caught that they were from Brazil. So I asked some of my suppliers if they had any and you guys, one of my suppliers pulled through. So asteroids will also be available. So this piece is actually from the supply that I got in. So I did get a smaller piece from her, but I did upgrade it to this bigger piece. And you guys, wait till you see the Clear Quartz Asteroids because they are insane. Each and every piece is gorgeous and has rainbows. So don't worry, all of them are just full of gorgeous rainbows. And then I also did get some Smokies and some Amethysts as well. So here is a gorgeous Amethyst one. Again, these are so unique and you don't really see a lot of suppliers offering them. So I am so excited that I got my hands on some to offer you guys. So these are a bit similar to Merkabas. They just have a lot more pointier ends and they call them asteroids. That's what they're labeled as. And they're just really gorgeous. And I am so happy that I was able to get my hands on some. But of course, I had to add some to my personal collection. Now you guys look at this smoky one, how gorgeous, how beautiful is this? And this one's actually unique because this one actually has a flat bottom, so you can lay it just flat, which I thought was really cool. Like I know some people would prefer like the full asteroid, they would prefer that there was a point here, but I just thought that was really cool because again, you can display it flat, which is really interesting and beautiful. And again, the rainbows in these are so insane, so gorgeous. So stay tuned guys, because if you wanted some asteroids, I do have those on the way as well. They will be part of one of the next live sales. And then way back when, I did have two, three of these smoky shapes. So I did end up keeping one of them for myself. They're considered like um, a geometric shape, but how gorgeous. If I do find more of these geometric shapes, I will definitely get them in the shop. I did only get three at the time that I bought these and I kept one and two were in like a previous live sale of mine, but how absolutely stunning. And these are all crystals from Brazil. I think, let me, 
yes, these are all from Brazil. So you guys can just see the amazing quality. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is my absolute disgusting obsession with these diamonds. You guys, I am not kidding you. These are also not all of them. So I put on the table a lot of my bigger diamonds, but there are some like minis. As you can see at the front, there's even like more minis that I left on the shelf because I just have way too many of them. So I think there's about five or six that I left on my shelf. The rest are in my collection right here out on the table. So I'm going to show you guys some of the citrine ones that I kept for myself. You guys know I hoard these diamonds. Well, if you don't know, and now you do because I will show you guys how ridiculous my obsession is. So these are all the citrine ones that I have. But how stunning are these? And I'm actually so excited because I just touched base with my supplier. And they are making me a new round of these citrine diamonds, the bigger ones for you guys. So I am so excited because I had a lot of the smaller ones and I kind of had them for a bit like it took a while for them to sell but a lot of you guys and I recently did a poll on my Instagram and asked you guys if you wanted more of the bigger citrine diamonds and a lot of you said yes so I did ask my supplier for some more how stunning are these so the first round I had I had like really dark and light ones um and then this time around I asked for more darker ones because I know a lot of the lighter ones again were almost like on a clear quartz scale. And I know some people get kind of funky with that. Some people will trust you when it comes to citrine, others don't. So I did get, I did ask them to make them more smoky and darker for me, but how stunning are these? So these are all like the big citrine diamonds that I kept for myself. I also did keep an amethyst diamond as well. So a lot of these might look familiar because as I mentioned, I did get these in the shop. Oof. A couple months back, so a lot of you guys did buy some citrine and some amethyst diamonds for yourself. But these are just the particular ones that I kept for myself. I also kept some clear quartz ones as well. And then when I go over to that side, I'll show you that clear quartz one. That's my biggest one. But again, you guys, this is an obsession. <laughs> These diamonds, oh my god, I don't know, when they hit the market, when I saw people selling them, like I needed them, and then when I was able to get my hands on them, you best believe that I kept so many for myself, like, it's disgusting. Like, I was not kidding you guys when I told you that I ended up keeping so many for myself. Here's an example of like a medium-sized one. So I have about three to four different medium citrines on here, as you can tell. So again, they vary from light too dark and then I also did keep some of the amethyst medium ones as well as the clear quartz medium ones you guys I wasn't kidding you I kept them all like all the sizes like each and everything that I got all the sizes and then here are like some of the more mini citrines so here is one of like the small citrine babies so as you guys can tell, I kept a lot of the diamonds for myself. So just on this table, there's 20 here. There's one more over there. So that's 21. And I have five, about either five or six like mini ones that I left on the shelf in the living room. So yeah, I have pretty much almost 30 diamonds that I have kept and it's insanity. But I have them all sitting together on a shelf and they just look so, so gorgeous that I... Oh, I just, I can't part with any of them. Like, I just love each and every single piece so much that I just can't part with it. And then something that I am currently so obsessed with, actually, let me show you this. So this is actually a gorgeous higher quality citrine freeform that I got in with the freeforms that I had a while back. So I did end up keeping this one. It has some really nice iron inclusions in it but I just fell in love with like the quality and how just like the clarity on this piece. So I did end up keeping this piece. And as you guys were a part of my last live sale, I had a lot of these gorgeous raw citrine and quartz pieces. So as I mentioned, I told you guys if they weren't going to sell in the live sale, I was going to keep some for myself. So the first gorgeous piece that I want to show you guys the first absolutely stunning piece. This is actually a personal piece of mine that was not out on the table. I did buy this from my personal collection. It is a gorgeous, almost double citrine point, though I know this is not a point, this is really the point, but how gorgeous with gem quality lapidolite and muscovite on it, you guys. This piece is insanity and the camera doesn't even do it justice. 
So you guys look at this. So there's a lot of gorgeous calcite, some gorgeous golden muscovite, calcite throughout, lapidolite throughout. Oh my goodness. But the lapidolite is such gorgeous gem quality. Here's some more of that muscovite. This piece is absolutely stunning and insane. Again, some more of that muscovite and then some gorgeous gem quality lapidolite. Oh my goodness. Like honestly, I can spend 20 minutes just showing you this beauty because she is so, so stunning. So I did keep one of the biggest pieces for myself um, just because that would, even for like retail, that would be really really expensive so i did kind of splurge on that piece for myself but i also did keep some of the smaller pieces so this is a gorgeous quartz with watermelon tourmaline so as you guys can see both the pink and the green and i really scored with this order because i didn't realize that the tourmaline was such gorgeous and high quality so these are some of the pieces that i kept for myself so this particular one is a quartz inclusion Sorry, a tourmaline included quartz. And then I did keep a lot of the citrine included ones. So then I have a lot of these gorgeous green tourmaline and citrine. I ended up keeping this piece. Has a little bit of both lapidolite and calcite on it. But how gorgeous is that tourmaline? And you guys, again, I did not think... These were such high quality, to be honest with you, because when I got the video of these from my vendor, this was all kind of in one bin. It was super bright out when they took the video. So, so of course I fell in love with them because I obviously ordered them for you guys in the shop. But when I got these in and actually saw how high quality these pieces were, I was honestly blown away. There was also this one kind of fully, okay. There was also this one fully polished piece that I ended up keeping because look at how gorgeous this is with some gorgeous black tourmaline inclusions. So I would say, yes, the rest of these are all citrine pieces. So this was one that was on the live sale that didn't sell. So I did add this to the collection, a gorgeous citrine with the, again, that gorgeous lapidolite as well as green tourmaline. Oh, such gorgeous pieces and then you guys look at this one so fun fact about this next piece i actually did end up putting it out on the live sale table but then when i was pricing them out and weighing them i saw how absolutely stunning this piece was that i could not i could not look at how gorgeous this piece is and actually you guys i need your help so i know a lot of this is green tourmaline but within the green tourmaline, some of them have like this purple color. I don't know if you guys can see that well, but some of them have this really gorgeous purple color in them. So I wanted to ask, does anyone know what that is? So I know this is green tourmaline and I know there can be like blue tourmaline, pink tourmaline, green tourmaline. I've never seen purple though. If you guys can see like these spots right here, they're purple. So I just kind of wonder if that's the mix of both the blue and the green that gives it that purple color or if it's another mineral that I'm not thinking of. So if any of you guys know, let me know. I mean, I'm pretty good with like inclusions and identifying them, but with this one, I was honestly stumped because I've never seen purple tourmaline or unless it is, again, a blue, just a shade of blue and green when it mixes. But if any of you guys know, let me know. So again, this was on the table, but I just last minute took it back because I just couldn't part with it. And then this next beauty was also out on the table and it did not get claimed. So I, of course, kept it as well. It's another one with some actual muscovite inclusion in it, as well as some gorgeous green tourmaline and that citrine piece is just absolutely insane so i actually only kept three pieces but then after the live sale there were still some pieces that were sitting around so honestly i just grabbed the last few that i really enjoyed and added them to my personal collection and then this is another fun piece actually stay tuned as well this is a gorgeous rutile included piece how stunning so it is pretty much fully polished but also raw on one side. So these will be in one of the next live sales as well. 
but it's a really gorgeous high quality piece and again these are all from brazil so i did end up adding that to my collection i also recently added in a bigger herkimer diamond to my collection i've always had smaller herkimer diamonds but i did get some bigger ones and you guys look at how stunning this piece was how gorgeous oh i'm obsessed it even has two smaller herkimer growths on it so it's one big diamond and then it also has look at how perfect that mini one is how cute oh such a gorgeous piece i absolutely love herkimers but it's been so hard to find to source for you guys i don't know why but i just cannot find a connection with Herkimer diamonds or when I do find them they're super super small and I've had the small ones in my shop before and they did sell but I know a lot of you guys want bigger ones so I'm definitely on the lookout and now we are on the side of the gorgeous faceted hearts but let me show you guys so here is the biggest clear quartz diamond that I did end up saving for myself and putting in my collection I think it was one of the bigger ones that I had I got two or three big ones so I did keep one of the big ones for myself. This is like the biggest one that I have in clear quartz. And then of course, you guys know that I have also had citrine spheres. So I did end up keeping some spheres for myself. So here are just some of my personal ones. And I also do still have a lot of these things available on Etsy. I still have a few spheres available. I have a lot of the tourmaline and black tourmaline included citrine and quartz pieces all still available on my Etsy if any of you guys were interested. So here is the smallest citrine baby. She actually sits over here on this side of my desk. And then these other two bigger ones sit on my shelf in the living room and how stunning are these oh my goodness so this is my medium sized one it has a lot of golden healer inclusion in it how gorgeous oh this is like i don't even know it's like so optical like the way you can see in it is just so beautiful and such gorgeous clarity in this one and then let me show you guys my big baby she is the biggest one that i have here is my big citrine baby. So not as clear as the smaller ones, but still so gorgeous. Definitely more like smokier and moody in this one, but still really beautiful. But that's just me because I am super biased. I really love my citrine. So of course I am a bit biased when it comes to anything citrine. I just have to keep it all. I think it's so gorgeous. So those are the three personal ones that I've kept for myself. And now just to further my citrine obsession, there is five other citrine pieces, faceted hearts that I kept for myself. So let me show you the ones that are not citrine first. So these are, this one's a clear quartz one. And again, I did have these before in the shop, these faceted hearts. So I did have some clear quartz option. I kept the biggest one for myself. I'm sorry guys, but it's just so pretty. And then I also did have rose quartz and I ended up keeping this baby for myself. How gorgeous. Oh, you guys, you should see me when I get any of my orders from Brazil. I'm just, I'm drooling over them. Oh, and this whole haul, like this whole personal haul is just, oh my goodness. I'm just, I'm absolutely dying and I'm obsessed. Like it makes me obsess over these crystals even more. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of the times I walk by my crystals and just like hold them or I don't know, I'll get this like instinct to just move them around, put them somewhere different. But I'm always like messing with these crystals. Like I always have them in my hand or I'm always playing with them or just, I don't know. I just can't help myself. So here are the citrine faceted hearts that I have kept for myself now again i did get these faceted hearts in twice so this wasn't all from just one time that i got these faceted hearts i did keep two from one of the first times i got it and then the second time i got more citrine faceted i did keep two more as well but how gorgeous and the reason i think i kept so many of these citrine ones because they're all so different so as you guys can tell like that one was like a lighter one this one is a really gorgeous darker piece. The 
It's just I can't help myself. As I mentioned, and as you guys can see by this haul, I just feel like you can't stop at one. Like you just need more citrine. Like there's never such thing as having enough citrine. I just feel like you can always add more citrine to your collection, you know? Here is another beautiful piece. Oh, you guys, I am just so obsessed with these faceted hearts. So yes, as you guys can tell, I have a bit of an obsession. Well, it's not even a bit. This is like excessive. <laughs> you know, some people have like a couple of citrine pieces and you know, I casually just have like a hundred. No big deal. And you guys know, like a lot of this isn't even my full citrine like collection i have had citrine in my personal hauls like as the time has gone on so if you look at some of my previous hauls i've had citrine and i just you guys oh so this was actually one of my first citrine faceted hearts and then from there it just kind of became an obsession so this was actually the first piece that i ever bought for myself from another shop and honestly i'm not gonna lie you guys i don't remember who i got this from but when I got this in, I was like on the hunt for these faceted hearts. And I am so, so glad that I found them. Because as you guys can tell, it became like an obsession really, really quick. And then I did have some gorgeous smaller amethyst ones that I did add to my collection as well. So the amethyst faceted hearts that I had, they were um, a lot darker. So I did keep one of these like what they would call like periwinkle amethyst or just like a very nice gorgeous lilac amethyst that I did keep for myself and then I did keep a mini mini amethyst as well I think it was just because like the small one didn't sell so I was just like you know what I'll add it to my collection <laughs> that's honestly how I feel about a lot of things like if there is something that doesn't sell in the live sale or like let's say I've had it up on Etsy for a while and it's just not selling honestly I'll just add it to my personal collection like I'm really obsessed with the crystals I get in so I never mind and then the last baby is a little chunkers. This is also part of like my smaller citrine collection. This boy actually sits on the back of my desk as well. So as you guys can tell, I have a lot of citrine everywhere because a lot of these towers sit on the back of my desk, my work desk. And then the rest of these gorgeous pieces sit in the living room just because I always want to see them. I do have a large collection in my bedroom, but I do sit out in my living room a lot more. So I love these to be displayed in my living room just because I want to look at them every day. And again, it's not that I don't look at the crystals in my bedroom every day, but again, they're mostly in my bedroom and I don't really go there until it's late at night and I'm going to go to sleep or like, you know, the first thing when I wake up in the morning. So I like to display these kind of just where I can admire them, right? Because that's what I feel is the point of crystal. I just don't want to keep them in a space where, you know, I have to have an intention of going in and looking at my crystals or rearranging them or dusting them. Like I just want them to be a part of my everyday life. So I really kind of have them all over the place and just where I can admire them the most. So I really hope you guys enjoyed part two. I am so sorry if this was long, but I know a lot of you guys wanted to see my personal collection update. So this was part two. This is the last of it. But don't worry because you guys know I am always adding new pieces to my collection. So this will probably, you know, in a couple more months, I'll have another full table that I've added to my collection. It's really ridiculous. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know which your favorite crystal was. I really love to know what you guys gravitated towards the most. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.